what is grain shrink? So for example, just recently, there was soybean harvest going on in our region of the country. And I had a non-farmer just ask me, how's the crop? And I said, well, in some cases, it's too dry. Yeah, too dry can be a problem. So here's what we look at with grain. You can sell grain at a certain moisture percentage. So in soybeans, uh, that's 13%. With corn, it's 15 or 15 and a half percent moisture. So when you bring that to the elevator or the processor or the ethanol plant, wherever, they will pay you for that grain, assuming that you've got 13% moisture in there or 15% moisture. But if it's wetter, they're going to take a dock. And so a lot of times you're trying to, well, I want to harvest right at that perfect percentage, that, but if it gets too dry. Well, that and by a dock, that means they're going to reduce your price. So as a farmer, you don't want your price reduced. So what do you say? No, oh, you, I want that grain dry. But you also don't want to come in at, well, they'll buy 13% moisture, pay me for all that water. If I bring in soybeans at 10%, ah, I could have sold them a bunch more water in the grain. That would have been a better deal. Yeah, so in effect, if you're hauling in, let's, to Darren's point, say it's 10% moisture soybeans. That means that you're going to have fewer pounds that are getting hauled in on a per acre basis because the grain is no longer at 13%. So that difference between 13% and 10% is what we call shrink. 